So weed can 100% make you go psycho. Here's how. The main psychoactive chemical in weed, marijuana, ganja, grass, whatever you want to call it, is THC, aka tetrahydrocannabinol. THC hijacks your brain's CB1 receptors and disrupts normal dopamine signaling throughout your brain. This disruption in normal dopamine signaling then can lead to psychotic symptoms like paranoia, hallucinations, including auditory, tactile, sensory, and even visual and disorganized thinking, even in relatively healthy people. The risk of psychosis skyrockets even more if you're smoking super duper potent weed, you're using it daily, and especially if you start at a younger age such as adolescence. And if you had a family member who was kind of wacko, something was like just off about them, you could never really put your finger on it, but it turns out it was actually schizophrenia or bipolar disorder, then your odds of psychosis from marijuana increase because both of those disorders are mainly characterized by dopamine dysregulation. So basically, if you smoke weed with that fun family history, your odds of winning the hallucination lottery are even higher. Now, chronic marijuana usage is linked to long-term psychotic disorders like schizophrenia and even bipolar disorder in continuation of the big green giant after your first episode of psychosis can worsen your chances of returning to the person you used to be and you'll most likely be seeing a big green giant within your near future. L look, I'm not saying do or don't, but just know where your weed comes from. Don't get it from your friend who got it from a friend who knows a guy. Marijuana is now laced with MDMA, ecstasy, meth, all their different undesirable substances to say the least, so just be safe. Like and subscribe for more helpful content.